Eight years ago, we put a new engine in this Integra Type R. Since then, 50,000 miles later, the car broke down and it was towed to us. We diagnosed it as a distributor, did a whole video on it, kind of showed you what we found out. The owner of this car, Bill, he's 86 years old. He bought the car brand new. That's a cool story in itself. But after putting that video up, a handful of people reached out and said, hey, I'd be interested in kicking in some money. We'll donate the time. We'll put a little video up to see our plans. People overwhelmingly donated. We called Bill up, said, Bill, we're going to fix up your car for free. Hey, Bill. Yes. Hey, this is John at LHT Performance. Yes. Just a quick question. Want to see how the Type R is running? Uh, seems to be doing pretty good. Basically, that conversation was, hey, Bill, we have people donate money. We're going to donate time. Do you want to bring your car in? We're going to make it a little bit nicer, do the maintenance, and give it back to you. No charge. All right, so Bill's Type R is here. You watched the video. We're going to go ahead and go through this thing, clean the interior, make those seats look a whole lot better, make the door panels look better. Oh. You're the other driver of the Type R. Sort of. <laughs> I don't drive it very much. I usually ride. Okay. It's, the seats are too low to get into. When they were fiddling with the back, they didn't put the buttons in that hold the carpet and the seat. The blower switch only works on high. Maybe high and the next one lower works. But I know, I know. Got it. I, I think works. three and four work. vibrates under there, maybe the exhaust is loose. That was uh, three attempts on all of them. So it's pretty good now. That has bleach on it. We can't fix that. And it's turned, the corner is turning up. So hopefully as it dries, it'll stay down. But these two look a thousand times better. So I went to hear back from Sean, but I think I'm gonna do a quick test sample on the fender. And worst case, I might end up doing it myself. So let's give it a shot. Worst case, I can work some overtime and do the buffing. Valve cover was something you really wanted to address because it looks like crap. Clean up the engine bay. We'll we'll make it look, we'll make it look a, a million bucks. Um, is there anything you can do about the valve cover? I'm gonna take care of that valve cover too. I had one here and I tried to do a wrinkle red with it, and I really put a two-day budget on this car. Two full days is probably gonna go longer. It looks too orange, and it just doesn't look right. Well, to my amazement, called Acura, it's in stock in Georgia, so we're getting an OEM one. It's a little pricey, I think it's 300 and something bucks, but this is like the focal point, and it's something you really wanted, so it's gonna be here tomorrow. It's a million times better than it was a second ago. I mean, you can see my reflection in here. It's the reflection of the whole shop. I don't know if it's just got something on it. It feels like tar, and obviously time-wise, we don't have the time or budget to pull them off from powder coat. I'm gonna hit them with some lacquer thinner. See if that comes off, whatever that is. I mean, you can almost scrape it with your nail. Okay, that is bringing it off.
The seats took a lot of scrubbing. Uh, still got some staining in here. There's not a whole lot I can do with that. But these are dry now. The driver's seat I had to get much, much wetter. You can see they still got some of that. It almost turns to leather. It's like oils off your skin. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to say what we call it around here. The last name is cheese. But the uh, yuck there. I want to hit it some more. See if I can get it off. And then I'll show you about the dye and what we use. I did the uh, Integra and the Burt Hatch. If you watch the Burt Hatch episode, I showed you more detail how to do these. So I'm not going to use this episode to show you how to finish the seats because there's still a lot more to do on this car. I mean, nobody ever sits in the back, especially in an Integra Type R. The back sits really low here. So if you're anything more than about five foot two, your head hits up here. Uh, again, this is the bleach that's on the floor mat. So there's not a whole lot we can do here but scrub the carpet and give it a light shampoo. I think we're gonna go over it one more time just in the spots you can see it. Uh, door panel, same thing. We clean those up. Still gonna dye the fabric there, but now we've got that fabric glued back into place. Steering wheel, someone on YouTube said they might have a Mint 98 steering wheel. If so, I really hope we can get it over 92 or so we can get it here, because this is day two. Uh, day three it has to leave. I put in about five hours yesterday while George was finishing up on a build that we have. I mean just using the different chemicals and stuff. My hands are just super dry. So it is cold right now. It's 45 degrees but the sun is out. I've got this in the sun. I had to really get this wet to break this loose. And as you see for the most part I got it off but this is still damp through here. So a nice thing about Florida is we do have a hot sun even on cold days. This goes blue. Well, this fabric had come out completely. We just glued all that back in. This is all clean now. It's just gotta be hit with some dressing to make it look a little nicer. This is the fabric dye we use. I've used this for 25 years. This is terrific stuff. There's a bunch out there. In my opinion, this is the one. I've used it on the CRX and so many cars. Trick is you're gonna mask up what you don't want to dye, which the vinyl is in good shape. So we're gonna mask it around here and basically dye just the fabric right here. That's rattling that it had, we just fixed. It was bent and pushed way up in the body. Uh, the tip was pretty damaged. We just straightened it out a little bit. Might do a little bit more work to that, but now it's not contacting. So we need to drain the gas out of it. Luckily on the Type R, there is a drain right here. When, when I was uh, 14, it was to steal gas out of my dad's car to put in my little motorbike so I could ride it up and down the field. We want to drain it directly out of there into my truck. And my truck was tuned on 87, so it's not really gonna care. A little bit of a tight squeeze in here. No, I think if we uh, give it a put the screwdriver down with it, it'll be all right. Okay. We know we spray some WD-40 on it and pull it out. We gotta make sure we do is get that bolt and drop it in there. Yeah, so it goes all the way down into the gas tank. <laughs> I don't think it will. It'd be funny. No, I don't think it will either. Yeah, here the whole like <laughs> thump in the gas tank. All right, download the instructions how to take the gas tank out of a Colorado. Yep. That's going to go down your arm either way. Haven't we had the gas tank out of your truck? No, we almost did. Yeah, that's right. If that doesn't go down your arm and drip on your armpit, you're doing something wrong. I'm trying to stop it before it happens every time. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Go. Oh, don't do that. Sorry, I was too busy looking at the camera. <laughs> trying to get the perfect shot and manage to get gas all over the floor. some mechanical the timer belt is in at Acura I've got to run and go get that uh, we've got the rest of the belts here so we can get the belt and the time belt and the dry belts on the valve car hasn't made it hopefully it's gonna be here tomorrow they said it should be here today but it's not so I'm gonna to run to Acura go get the belt 
that way we can button this part up and then start cleaning the rest of this $120.99 the belt now I don't want to sound old but I used to pay like 60 bucks for these things so if you're an OEM guy be prepared to pay an arm and a leg So I did that practice spot. It looks like I'm going to be buffing the car. Uh, our detailer cannot make it. He's uh, too busy with projects and I didn't give him a lot of notice. I'll give you the quick side by side. That's the side I did. You can see right here, that's just one stage of color correction. So I know how to do it. I'm just not very fast at it. So it might be a late night, but at least we'll get the car looking good. Still got more to do. Tomorrow's the last day. Today's Tuesday. It's leaving tomorrow. The steering wheel was a big surprise. It came much better than expected. I think it had the uh, preservation hand oil on there. So the leather was nice. And let me go show you. The sun is going down. So it's going to be a late night. But look how nice that is. The leather was literally preserved with all the oils and junk that was on it. So after a major scrub, set out in the sun and then an application of treat it's now got a nice leather feel to it that's probably the biggest transformation of the car yet about two hours into it i've got the whole front end done and it looks really good i don't have any sealant on it of any kind i think it's doing a good job i've done like two or three passes over all the panels nice thing i have it on the lift i can bring it up to kind of chest level and it makes it a little easier to buff because I'm not bending over I can put it buff it right in front of me right here so uh, I'm running out of material I've got to go to Walmart hopefully they have it it's the only thing that's going to be open overall for 22 year old paint especially black uh, paint is is actually quite good so advanced auto parts is open till nine o'clock so I got some more 205 and I got it some butter wet wax too and went to Wow Wow and got dinner. Hey, uh, Honda just called that valve covers in. Can you grab it while you're out? You've seen us use this on the seats. Well, I'm gonna give you a quick demo really fast on this. You see, this is what kind of goes on with the Alcantara. It gets stained and some of this like oils and whatnot. This stuff is really good. And again, it's something super DIY. You can, if you can't get a hold of a detailer or you don't have the professional equipment, this is the one I like, the one with the Oxy Power and the Odorex. It's just got a nice smell to it, but it does a good job. Shake it, the stuff comes out like foam. Right here. And then all you're gonna do is agitate it. You don't need to get it super wet. The Alcantara dries pretty good if you do get it wet, but you'll see how well this works. I've been using this stuff for years, so I obviously, there's some detail guys that I use that will do it for me. But if you're doing it yourself, microfiber towel, and then just keep circulating the cloth to get the dirt off because you'll see it pick it up there. But look how much better that looks. It does such a good job. And again, if it's not really bad, the seats were way bad, but you're just basically going to go around it and do this. Keep doing it. And then it'll get that nice black luster and the stitching comes up nice and clean too. That's the part number for this. Hopefully, I haven't actually owned it yet. We'll just make sure that it is. Okay, looks to be the same. There it is, look. This is common on most of the Hondas. A lot of the Hondas have this, the Civics, the CRXs. Double check your part number, double check your part store. But there it is right there. That should fix our switch. Again, there's a part number. 12310P73A00. Yeah, the, the receipt says A72A00. Uh, Ooh. Okay, fingers crossed this is red. 
If not, we have a generic black valve cover and it's not what we're looking for. Drum roll, please. Sharpen knife, please. Yeah. <laughs> Better than the GMC key. Oh, I can see it. Ah, oh, I thought you went, oh, it's bad. No, oh, it's good. Yes. Look at that. Oh, look. That's a US Integra Type R valve cover. That is the crowning jewel. They might be coming in for a quote. Hey, boy, hey, do you guys have the new t-shirts? One, two, three, four. Nice. The Type R strut bar that was on this car a long time ago, somebody drilled some holes in it, so it would usually sit this way. Those holes are kind of ugly, but we're refinishing the end pieces, and we kind of polished this. So I'm going to flip this the other way around just so it doesn't have the holes. The Type R is going to face the opposite way, but at least it's on there, at least it doesn't have holes. There's one of the brackets right there. Put a coat of wax on it right now using this stuff right here from Chemical Guys. So I'll put two coats on it. Now Biff... I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. I want two coats on that anyway. I'll give him whatever's left and hopefully he can kind of keep up on it and it'll make it easier if you keep putting it on but this is how to handle a red valve cover like a bowling ball so this is the crowning moment right here this is going to really bring this engine bit together i'll put a coat of wax on this look how good that looks there's a quick glimpse of the wheel i'll show you that later factory integra type r grommets from the lht archives we've got to put a lht solenoid cover on there too I already told everybody about the bar because someone, if you don't, if you're watching the video and you're going to ask me about why is that upside down? Why would I ask? I'm not going to watch the video. I'm just going to see it and go, hey, your bar's upside down. That's sure. right. Don't even, <laughs> just don't look into don't it first. Watch the whole thing. No. That thing is looking great. Let me get back to waxing. I've got this side. I've got to do the rest here. The uh, bumper is pushed in a little bit here. I'm going to loosen this and see if I can do something to get it to line up. Yeah, part of it, yeah. Okay. A whole buttload of these guys. Those, do we have the men seals too? Men seal! Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so by the time you see this, hopefully there'll be enough to complete the people to order for right the, here. For the, for the um, clutch install kits, which I know the everybody The clutch install really, really kits, wants. and these are the master. Do yeah. we have the foams? What about no, the foams? No, the foam, I, I can't put those. I'm still waiting on the foam. Okay, don't look at those. We don't have them yet. We're still looking for the yes, foams. Yes, we don't, but we do have these. Sweet. So many people reached out and said, if you need parts, if you need this, a uh, few customers, a few followers. Uh, one guy said, hey, I have a mint uh, steering wheel. I'll send you it if you need it, which is really, it's its unbelievable. It's its one of those things that kind of renew, renews your excitement in the car world. I mean, I know there's a lot of great people out there. We talk to so many. I think 99% of our channel think alike. But the fact that people are just jumping on board with this thing, it's amazing. Found a pair of rear floor mats from an Integra Type R that are much better, just need cleaning. So we started this on day one and it was 45 degrees. All right, Esther's gonna take it for a quick spin. We're just gonna make sure everything is good, make sure there's no issues, that rattling in the back is fixed. We should have fixed the check hinge light, which was the O2. I'll put a picture in that. The O2 was damaged. He hit a pothole or something. It pushed the header back far enough to damage the O2. So let's go take it on down the street real quick, get an actual view of it outside, and then we're gonna call him and unveil it. Sounds good. Those wheels made such the difference. Yeah. They were so tore up, that made a big difference. We're actually got some tire dressing coming for those. Should really finish 
them off. But now you can actually see. It's got a shine. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. How is it? It does. Is it like old times? It is. Remember your integer? That is so nice. All right, I think we're good. We'll just put the tire dressing on and we'll call Bill and I think this one's a wrap. I think so too. Awesome. I think he's gonna be happy. Oh, I think he's gonna be ecstatic. <laughs> I'm excited for him. Are you sure this is my car? What do you think? Does it look like your car? It does not look like my car. Wow. I wonder how you got it so clean. I still don't know of anybody that's 86 that's driving a Type R, so I think you're one in a million here, Bill. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you gotta drop it to second. <laughs> All right, you wanna run P-Tech again? Yeah, let's hammer it. It does, doesn't it? Timer belt. Timer belt had 50,000 miles on it, so it was about due. Okay. So it's brand new and it's a Honda OEM timer belt. Okay. Take a look at the interior. Have a look at it. That's new. They're refinished. They're refinished? Refinished, and we refinished the center caps and put red Acura symbols back in them for you. You know, <laughs> last week I, I looked up to find out what those go for these days, and they're almost $100 a piece. Yeah, if you can find them. All right, so 22 years ago when this car was new, what made you choose the Integra Type R? It was different. Different? And I knew it would be incredibly scarce. Yeah. And, and Honda obviously had a good reputation. Yeah. And if I buy things, I try to buy things at the top of the line and not necessarily the entry level thing. Did you go in and look for the Type R or did you look at something else and then just choose the Type R? I had heard about it and seen pictures of it and said, that's for me. Awesome, that's cool. All right, another one. Somebody wants to know, how often do you hit VTEC? Like run it on the RPMs and actually engage VTEC? I try and do it a minimum of one, once a month maybe. I Thank you so much. We want to thank everybody that donated. It was such a pleasant surprise and we are so over excited to have it back and have it look like it does. A thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. We thank you too. It's been fun. I think the I think the audience are gonna really get a kick out of this. I wanna double down on what she said. It's amazing. Well, so awesome. I can say. That is probably one of the coolest things I think we have done. We've put in a lot of hours. Esther, George, myself, we've put in a lot of hours, we've done a lot of scrubbing, a lot of cleaning. A uh, couple of late nights, my hands are tore up from the different chemicals I've used to clean this thing. But to do that and see the reaction, to see how many people this has touched, it, it goes beyond the two people that own the car. You guys that donated, thank you so much. There is so many people, I can't list everybody in here. I really, really appreciate it. It's so cool to do this. If I hit the Powerball, this would be my new career. It's so uplifting and fulfilling to do this kind of thing. So thank you again. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit out the LHT store. The new t-shirts are out. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, share the passion and enjoy your cars.